What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you a little bit of my morning routine. Recently I have been waking up at 7 a.m. and the first thing I do is use the restroom and after that I wash my face with the Freeman black sugar scrub and it's really good at exfoliating and making my skin feel really clean. It does turn my skin a little bit red I guess my skin is just super sensitive, but it's a good one. So after I'm done drying my face, I go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream as a moisturizer. So after my face is nice and moisturized, I go in and brush my teeth with my Philips Sonicare and I really like this toothbrush because it has a two minute timer on it and it's just really soft and effective on my teeth. I feel like it cleans better than a normal toothbrush. Every winter it seems like my hair and skin gets really dry so I'm just using this Main Magic 10 in 1 primer. It has argan oil and sunflower seed oil in it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried it or what you guys use for your hair. For foundation, I have been using this Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I went into Ulta and the girl tested it on my face and said that it was just a tint darker, which was okay since we're all looking for a little bit of color for the winter. We don't want to be so white. So I am just going to finish up my makeup, put on some concealer, dry in my eyebrows, and do a little bit of mascara and I should be good for the day. The backyard is big. I'm taking a break now. I took my coat off. At first, when I stepped out of the car, it was freezing, and now that I've been going on, yeah, it's not quite as hot or it's not quite as cold anymore. A little warmed up, so I still have like half the backyard to get done.
yeah so guys there's literally snow and leaves here in Utah so I'm just trying to get all the leaves mowed up it'll be the last time I mow the yard until the winter is over Like I said, it is the Monday after Halloween, so I'm gonna go ahead and take down all of the Halloween decorations. We just got home from Target and from my dad's house, and I went over there and mowed the lawn. And then I wanna show you guys what I got. So I just wanted to show you what I picked up at Target today. Everything was 50% off. Um, I could have waited until it went to 90% off, but then there would be no guarantee that it would still be there. So anyways, all right, so all the stuff I picked up today from Target was priced normally at anywhere between $1 and $3. So I got all of it for half off. So the first thing I picked up and saw were these cute little plates for Brody and Lexi and they were a dollar each, so 50 cents. And yeah, you can use those basically whenever. And I saw these little caution tapes and decided these would be fun to decorate with next year. Picked those up for 50 cents a piece. And the last thing I picked up for 50 cents was this little eat, drink, and be scary sign. And then the, moving on to the $3 stuff, which I picked all this stuff up for $1.50, was this trick or treat banner um this cute little trick-or-treat pumpkin sign i got this little plastic trick-or-treat pumpkin and then the little boo sign and i thought this one was really cute it says welcome on one side side and then on the other side it says out of candy and the last three things i picked up were these cute little ceramic open mouth candy dishes. And I got a, a pumpkin one, a black cat one, and then a witch one. So yeah, those are fun. I checked out Walmart and they had Clarence as well. So I picked up a few more things there. I got the Halloween gel clings for the window. And I picked up the big bat and spider. These were like $2.14 a piece, but I picked them up for a dollar in clearance. Um, I got a little flicker candle that I paid, I think a dollar for. Um, and then these real cheap little plastic pumpkins as well, and they were only a dollar, so I got them each for 50 cents. Just because it's boot season and I needed some new boots, I decided to stop in the shoe section. And I got these universal thread boots. And I'm so excited. A coworker of mine got them last year and I looked 
at a couple different targets for my size but last year I was looking at the around Christmas time and they were out everywhere and so when, as soon as I saw them this year I snagged them up really fast waterproofer protectant spray to put on them so that the snow doesn't ruin them when I wear them I wanted to show you guys what I picked up there as far as Christmas stuff so I guess I'll start with these cute little signs I picked up the this one has a, this one's a snowman and he counts down the days and there's some numbers on the back and they just kind of velcro on right here and then um this little santa merry christmas and santa please stop here signs i got a little cute mailbox so the kids can write santa a letter put it in there and then i picked up a couple of little reindeers. Got this motion projector candy cane thing. You can use it indoor or outdoor and it just has a bunch of different candy canes in motion. And the last thing I picked up were these little slippers. I got the mama bear, little bear ones. So for Brody and Lexi. And these were the kids' ones were $12.99 a piece, and then the older or the adult ones were $14.99. And the last place I went to was Home Depot, and they have a bunch of these nutcrackers out. So I was really excited, and I got him. So, yeah, I can't wait for Christmas. All right, so if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button down below. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.